Alright. So because I wasn't paying attention, I don't know, you guys probably seen pictures or whatever of this crap. This right here was under my hood. It was laying on hot, a hot like metal pipe. I can't remember what it was for. But uh, it just burnt the shit out of it. It's not very far from where my battery was. But, of course, that's got to be fixed. Now, I'm going to see if I can uh, pull enough through and still have enough to feed in the back, which I'm adding a fuse in the back uh, because somehow this did not blow up my back battery. That's down to the wire. It's not the wire's fault. It was sitting on a freaking hot-ass tube that goes to something in my car. So, um, I don't know how it didn't pop my battery you know blow my fucking battery up that goes in the back but I gotta fix that so I'm gonna try to extend this like pull it through um, and still be able to add a fuse in the front of course change where it's at and then add a fuse in the back um, I've actually been without a radio for um, over a month in this car and I drive a long way to work so it's been um, I've been si it's been silent in here I mean you guys bitch about not having any bass for a little while, try not having a radio at all because I run everything amped. There's nothing, nothing runs to the head unit. Um, so uh, yeah, I get that fun shit to do today. So thanks to my buddy Jeff Rowland, sent me this uh, DB link that I used a lot of in my Civic. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna add a new power wire. I'm gonna yank it all, add all new. Roland, I knew this would come in handy, like a motherfucker. Zero gauge, blue, which is my favorite color. It's not uh, OFC, but uh, still pretty damn good wire. And I'm gonna replace the American base with it, just because I don't wanna hack it up and have runs that might be too short and shit like that. I just wanna do it right. You know, you try to do things right the first time so you don't have to fucking redo them all the time, so. Ah, oh, fuck. Got my two channel off there because I had this car in the shop. I tried to take things off or out, uh, audio out of here when it goes to the shop. So, time to take the seat out. Score! <laughs> nice, even a clip looks, clips looks like without a front seat. Oh, magical. I take my carpet out and run my wire under the carpet. Zero gauge is a bitch to put in through like these damn things. And I don't like cramming wires in because you never know what you might cram or cut when you slam it all back together. So I just run it under the carpet and it's more safe. Fuck yeah. I'm going to make it a little bit longer even. I'll probably still use the end right there, a little end, because um, it already has a uh, ring terminal on it. But this is going to be uh, no ring terminals because each side is going to go to a fuse block. I'm going to have a fuse in the front and the back. This is my daily driver. So, you know. Ah, cut me off, you son of a bitch. Anyway, this is my daily driver, so I'm not worried about SPL. You know, I want it to be loud, of course, but, you know, I, I'm going to have fuses all in it because, uh, well, my daughter rides in the back, and uh, I'm surprised I didn't have this battery blow up with what was going on. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fucking backseat all laying out. Shit. That's crap we gotta do, you know what I'm saying? Remote wires, speaker wire coming up under here. Ah, oh, this shit. I was having a problem right here. This plastic was like right down on there you know I was having to fucking pinch my fucking wire a little bit and force my finger well you know it pulls it turns out if you pull hard enough on plastic it just break right off problem solved direct fucking hole for my zero gauge no more pinchy better for it too ah sweet that shit rain I mean, like, for real, it fucking rained earlier today. Ah, nice new wire running through there. 
front seats back in. I got this the best spot I thought. Keeping it away from shit down there that's hot. And I'm actually gonna twist it around like kind of snake it. And then have my fuse down here. And then going up. Fuck fuck see into my terminal. Kind of trying to get shit ready in case it decides to fucking piss ass pour on me. Piss pour rain. Well, I come out here at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. That's rowdy for a guy who works nights. This right here, that big ball of fuzz, all that fuzz, that was all sitting right here with a sweet little mousy in it. Overnight, the motherfucker gets under here in the rain and builds him a little nest right there. He must have known I was going to be working under here today and just wanted to surprise me. Little motherfucker. Alright, I got my fuse about ready to run up here. <sighs> my battery sitting back in there. My two channels back up on there. Uh, I think I'm going to get my DD1. DD1 shit while I got her out here. It ain't no O scope, but it's probably better than my ear. Alright, so this time, all my grounds, all my positives. I actually DD1'd everything. Calm your girl panties. I know it's not a fucking O scope, so chill your fucking shit out. Doesn't do clipping, blah, 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 blah. It's better than my ear, man. It's better than my ear. And on the back of this, it says, uh, I took my, uh, I changed my battery in the DD1. And it said, uh, it's got like Steve Mead's autograph, I guess. And it says 12 on it. Has the number 12. Does that mean I have the 12th one made? I mean, I did order it pretty much when they came out. I don't fucking know. I was just curious. Something weird I noticed when I was changing the battery. But everything is clean now. I feel better. I'm going to hook some shit up.